Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm happy to say that I fixed my mistake. Some of you probably already know how when I attempted to install my recessed tray for my trolling motor, I installed it in the wrong location. Major setback. So this video is actually two videos combined into one. The first roughly six minutes of this video is of the original stall of the recessed tray for the trolling motor. And everything after that is what I did to actually fix the mistake I made, which was basically guys cutting a hole in my deck in the wrong place completely screwing up that part of the build. The reason why I'm putting the first six minutes in there of the original install is because those steps are still 100% intact and accurate. The mistake I made was simply installing it too close to the bow of the boat. So for anyone out there thinking about installing a recessed tray, you can easily follow the steps in this video. Just choose the right location so you don't make the same mistake I did. So here I've got the Easy Troll tray. This is for the recessed foot control for the trolling motor. And I went ahead and sprung for this because I didn't feel like I'd have the patience or time to fabricate one with everything else that's going on with the boat, even though that would have been kind of fun to do. This tray is a little pricey, guys. I cannot lie, but I went ahead and did it because it seemed like it'd be big enough for my foot pedal. Some of the other trays are either too shallow or too small, and it doesn't have space for the actual control cords. And this actually has an indentation right here so that the cords aren't bent and over time could wear and break your wiring and damage your wires. So out the box, you've got your tray, you've got about, I don't know, about four feet of tubing. This is to drain any water that goes down in the pan and you've got some mounting screws and also the connector to the tube. So far what I've done is found the center line of the boat, which is really important to do. So I simply measured the bow of the boat and this side right here as well, measured that. And you see, I have a center line drawn up. Next, I wanna be able to figure figure out where on the deck I want to have it in relationship to the front of the boat. And then what Easy Troll recommends is having the bottom of the tray be 13 inches away from your pedal so seat, but obviously I don't have one here, guys. My guide won't be the pedal so seat. I'll go based on the actual structure of the boat, how far I do want it close to the bow of the boat. And also one thing I have to do is check how deep the bow of the boat is to be able to fit this. As you can see, and I don't remember the, the exact measurements, but this tray is about maybe eight inches deep. Don't quote me guys, but it's all online. I'll probably flash it on the screen right now how deep the tray is. I need to make sure that this tray is installed in a place that is not too deep meaning the depth of the tray will fit in the boat. And this is what I mean right here, guys. I need to make sure that it'll fit in the boat. So the closer I install it towards the front of the boat, this depth right here needs to be able to accommodate the depth of the foot tray. So I'm gonna work on that. Forgot to mention, also comes with these handy instructions. It really gives you the blow by blow. Uh, and this also serves as a template for the tray to make your cuts. You can see it has center lines here, this side up, and the center line in the bottom. So guys, I'm just doing a basic estimate of, of where I'll install this tray. I don't want it to come any much further than where this aluminum pieces. I'm using this because I don't have a ruler long enough to go across the entire boat. So if you notice, this is angled and you look down here, the boat is also angled. I'm hoping to get this in a good spot. I can't go too far that way because I can't be too close to my pedal so seat. I got this tip from my tackle junkie. He actually installed one just like this and cut out a little square here so I could match up my center line with the center line of the boat. I'll do that for the top and bottom. All right, guys, there we go. Maybe I'm just not used to this. This is a first for me, but this thing looks huge. I never anticipated it taking up this much of the front deck. So first thing I'll do is drill some pilot holes in each one of these corners and then get the jigsaw out and cut out the wood. Right, guys now we just need to trace out our template onto the actual deck of the boat so we can make our cut on the aluminum i see there are rivets going across the deck so i'm assuming there's some kind of reinforced plate right here that i'm gonna have to try to cut through to get this cut out i'm not really concerned about cutting the support that's under here because this front deck won't be carrying a lot of weight in terms of people standing on it. I will have the wood deck on top of this, so that will reinforce it. Um, the basic layout of this front deck will be the tray, trolling motor, and fish finder. And that's 90% of the weight that will be up here. Probably not much space to step on this side, but I could probably step
step over here if I needed to, but I'm not really concerned. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill some pilot holes and then get the jigsaw and cut this out. Wish me luck, guys. Hopefully my saw can even get through whatever is in here. I don't, I don't know how thick the metal is under here. I don't know if it's angled, but I'll just find out as I go what's under there. I know there's foam under here, so once I get this cut out, I'll need to dig out the enough foam to fit the recessed tray in here. Here we go, guys. Another big step right here. All right, whatever is under here, I got through one part of it. I'm at the other part right now, so it might be a V cut support. We're gonna keep pushing through. All right, guys, we got it done. Let's see what's underneath. Good news, I see a rivet. Is, guys as you can see this is what's supporting the front deck we have good news and not so good news guys the deck is a little weaker i mean when i'm pushing down on it it now flexes so that's the not so good news ultimately i'm not too worried about it because this will be decked up in wood so it'll have that reinforcement there and the good news is the foam isn't covering the entire underneath here so i'll be able to access underneath to secure my fish finder and trolling motor as well so i could i could run bolts through and i was a, a bit concerned about how to secure the trolling motor and this is an 80 pound thrust trolling motor so it has a lot of power and it's going to put a lot of pressure on the deck i may try to find a way to reinforce underneath here i'll show you from the angle you guys can see put some kind of beams going down Man, that template is a beast. That looks sweet. One week later. As some of you may know already, I made a huge mistake with the install of the foot tray. As a result of installing it too far away, the cable for the trolling motor is too short. I actually made a full video explaining exactly what I did. Link at the top of the screen. Check that out, guys, to see one of the biggest mistakes you could make. I have to redo this entire front deck. That's what I'm about to do right now. In the end, the foot control needs to be about right here. So I've got to move it back quite a bit uh, to make it work. So I'm going to fast track through that right now because it's basically a repeat of the process I already did. I'm not going to drag you guys through that. But man, this is this is tough. I'm starting over. This deck is now going to extend to this bar right here. Here we go. All right, guys, I got the old cut on the table. I've got my extension that I'm putting on it and I've got it traced out. All I need to do now is cut it out. I got the new piece in, fits in nicely. Next, we're gonna do a mock-up of where everything will be, make sure all the cables make it this time and they're long enough and nothing gets in the way of the other. So I'm talking about the trolling motor, the foot tray and the fish finder all need to work in unison. One of the things I noticed before is that if I position the trolling motor a little bit too close to the tray, it actually could get in the way and hit the fish finder as I'm stowing the motor. So I'm gonna do a little mock-up, make sure everything fits perfectly before I make cuts in the wood and then make cuts into the deck. All right, guys, I got my spot, got it all figured out. This is just a rough cut of where everything will be placed. So initially, this foot pedal was about right up here. So I moved it back at least a foot or more. So this is how my setup is basically going to look. I am going to have to do some work underneath this deck to reinforce it because I basically cut pretty much the entire center piece of the deck out. Once I cut the deck, I'll take a look at it and see what's next. What do I need to do to enforce it? Some of you had suggested me putting a day box in the space that's right here underneath that I've already cut out. And I'm actually not going to do that. It's kind of an awkward place for a day box to be. It'll be behind the fish finder. So for while I'm fishing and stuff, I kind of have to come around here every time or reach over here and I can't really stand here to get it. I got to come over here to then access the day box. So great suggestion. I did look into it, I actually sized up a bin underneath and it, and it looked like it would fit from a bin standpoint, but just functionality wise wouldn't work out too great for me. 
and I know I want a day box because that's how I fish. I normally have baits out everywhere. I know what things I want to try throughout the day and a day box works perfect for that. In the end, I don't think I'll do it for the initial build, probably in the off season for next year. I'll probably build a day box on this side. So for now, we're gonna keep things moving, feeling a lot better. The trolling motor should not hit the fish finder and I'm glad I got the fish finder out because the way I had it also set up last time, I was trying to get the motor closer to the center of the boat as possible, but it was gonna hit the fish finder as well. So I've got everything figured out. All right guys, before we go any further, we're gonna go ahead and cut off the excess off of this middle piece. Now that we brought the front piece all the way back to here, we need to cut off about this much of this piece. So we're just gonna line it up to the edge of this front piece so that in the end it matches up perfectly. All right, we got the middle piece cut, feeling good. We've recut all our wood, just need to cut out the boat and then start reinforcing that deck for the mistake. And once that's reinforced, I can go ahead and start staining this wood. All right guys, hope, hopefully you can see the two lines I have drawn right there. And that's where I need to cut the deck right there now the tricky part is i also have to cut out vertically on this deck so that's going to be a little bit hard never made a cut like that before but i think the jigsaw is just going to be able to come down and go down that way i gotta go about four inches down and i'm just guessing based on the depth of the tray so we're going to play around with it unfortunately i do have to remove this wire or at least see if i can shift it down to about here without having to splice it or extend it because that's just more work i'm pretty excited about this guys i'm getting through this and once we make this cut we're going to go ahead and uh, reinforce this probably put some aluminum sheet right here and i'll probably just rivet it in I wanna see how this thing behaves once I cut it out. I'm basically cutting out the majority of the middle section of this front deck that came with the John boat. All right guys. Ooh, that was some handy work right there. We got everything cut out. That's what I wanted to be able to see right here is that it's cut deep enough for the tray to sit flush. I am gonna put some supports here and here just to support the weight bearing ability of this deck. Even though I am gonna put plywood here, I just wanna play it extra safe, make it extra sturdy. All right guys, just wanna show you really quick what I did on the inside here. This is just regular cheap styrofoam, if you ask me, that they have inside the boat that I had to cut through. So it, it, a lot of the pieces come off, it gets really messy really quick. I just so happen to have some adhesive, some styrofoam adhesive spray, and I just sprayed some on here. It didn't spread all over the place. It was a pretty easy thing to do. And this is what it is. I actually just had a can of this laying around the house not something you necessarily need. I just sprayed this on there to prevent over time styrofoam coming off and I have styrofoam inside the boat and my hatches and stuff like that. Sprayed that on there, hopefully that does the trick. Also you can see I did put some supports in here like I said I would. Just cut it, angled it for the deck and the floor, riveted it into the top, put a piece of angle aluminum right at the top. You can't see it because it's on the back end and riveted the aluminum to the post and then into the top here. Just a pretty simple fix. The deck is very sturdy now. Eventually I'll put this aluminum sheet right here. This is 0 0.090 thickness, pretty thick stuff. That will firm up the front deck as well as cover up the huge hole mistake I made right there. All right, let's get the new deck on here. See how she looks. Home sweet home, baby. Home sweet home. This is truly overcoming a huge mistake I made. There we go, guys. Woo, we're back. We are back. So what I wanna do is install a metal piece of angled aluminum right here to support the tray. The back of the tray is gonna be resting right there. So just playing it safe. Don't want any drooping, any kind of issues. Put a bunny piece about right here, guys. So we're gonna rivet that in. All 
All right, guys, that's done. Completely solid, not moving. I'm very happy. Let's get the deck back on here and start placing the trolling motor and the base and everything else. This square is reinforced by the piece of aluminum sheet I put right underneath here. I don't, you guys probably can't see it from there, but right now I just wanna make sure this is fitted properly. Here is the moment of truth, guys. Is it gonna work this time? It fits, it fits. All right, guys, I feel completely vindicated, made up for my mistake, and everything fits perfectly this time. The last time I did this, the tray started about right here, so I moved it 14 inches back. It fits like a beauty. As you can imagine, guys, I'm feeling great right now. I mean, she's really, really coming along. Just realized I spent the last four months working on this boat and I don't even have a name for it yet. So guys, leave a comment below. Let me know, what should I call this thing? I built this boat completely during COVID. I actually started one week before the quarantine started. I actually joked around about calling it COVID, but then figured, do I want to refer to COVID every time I'm out on this boat? I don't know. Hey, let's go fishing. I'm taking COVID out today. So guys, help me out. Leave some name suggestions in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Leave us that thumbs up. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, guys. Subscribe below. Appreciate all of you. Stay safe out there. We'll see you on the next video.